Yeah, naturally speaking, you know, the cytokine storms are because of the overstimulation of your immune system, because of the stress. So, the first thing that you should do is to distress yourself in this epidemic. Try to manage your work within the house when you are actually in the community and when the COVID is in large proportion, you be in the house. Try to wash your hand frequently and uh, use mask if you are going outside. Keep a distance between the people whenever you are going in the shops, any you know um, purchase, there you have to be more careful. Once you quit the smoking, those who are light smoker, light smoker means what? Those who are smoking one or two BDs in a day, they are less likely to get um, lung cancer. And if these people quit the smoking, then there is a less chance they will get cancer. There are two types of pH in our respiratory medicine. One is pulmonary hypertension, the other is pH of the blood gas. So, you want to know about pH of blood gas? Yes. Uh, before giving uh, COVID therapy, uh, actually it is not a pH. We measure the arterial PO2 or non-invasive measurement of the saturation. You know that tells about oxygenation in the body. So, if your oxygenation is good, if you do not have much respiratory distress, you have mild symptoms like a headache, fever, body ache, sneezing. This means that you have mild uh, COVID. So, if you measure the saturation and the saturation is normal, uh, there is no problem. But suppose your symptoms are more, even though you do not have breathlessness, you have fever and you become fatigue, in that case we tell the patient to walk around 6 minutes and measure your again saturation of oxygen. And if there is a fall in oxygen, then that becomes an indication for more therapies or maybe sometimes admissions. Uh, people never realize the importance of their respiratory symptoms in the past. But as the COVID came in, everybody is serious whether I will get infected, that itself induces more awareness and in future they will be more cautious about respiratory symptoms if they get. Uh, short respiratory symptoms of short duration of respiratory symptoms people get off and on even due to non-COVID condition like a flu. If there is an influenza A and B virus infection, people do get fever, headache, body ache, which are more or less similar like COVID-19. But now if symptoms are more, more than 15 days of cough, more than 15 days of fever, more than 15 days of sputum production along with fever or no fever or weight loss then the people will be more aware and they will get the, themselves examined by the doctor and would seek advice to rule out condition like tuberculosis in this country. COVID has caused sudden damage to the people, but TB is causing you know subclinical damage and people have to be aware of these symptoms and also get investigated for TB. You know like uh, any pandemic that comes, teachers are us one or uh, two lessons and uh, people now have to start thinking that if they go in crowded areas, you know still the COVID is not over and therefore they must distance themselves from the next person that is kept uh, said as a social distancing. It is more of physical distancing now, not a social distancing. Then whenever they go in the crowded area, they come back, they must wash their hand or they must use uh, sanitizer to sanitize their hand and also keep a mask on the face. That is very important. So that this triad will not cause any kind of infection, whether it is a COVID, whether it is a other viral infection or whether it is TB. Uh, COVID-19 infection in mild form, uh, yes it is a pulmonary disease, but it is a transient pulmonary disease. When it becomes moderate to severe, then it becomes a pulmonary disease which can occupy the significance including admission and long term sequelae. Like some people got pneumonia, 
their pneumonia is treated, but they are still suffering due to the sequelae of that pneumonia. You know, they are suffering for months, years, and that is where the role of pulmonologist comes, and it can be called as a pulmonary condition. Thank you.